Hi. Just recently I sold a, um, a large view camera to a customer in Germany. This is an Uniman. And in the process of selling it to the, to the man, I actually, in correspondence, he asked me whether I could change it to being a 10.8 camera. And I realised that there are a lot of cameras out here that um, could, really, could really profit from being converted over because 10.8 seems to be the actual um, size of choice for large format these days. And this one in particular is, eight, is 7 and 3 quarters by 8 and a half. So I think it's FOMO film, another, another type of film. I couldn't bring myself to actually chopping it up and actually damaging the camera or ruining its originality. So I told the gentleman I'd actually build him a back. And in the process of building the back, I realised there's probably a good market here for people who want to get an old camera and actually update it so they can still use 10x8 film. Because 10x8 is still available, and it seems to be the, the large format film of choice. So what I did, I took the old back off and measured it up. I could have easily adapted it, but it wouldn't have looked as nice. And this, if you want to display the camera, the original film holder ground glass focusing back looks really nice. So I built my own, and I built it a very lightweight, simple way, so you know, people who want to take their cameras actually and um, go out in the field, don't have to, it doesn't weigh too much, it's all wood, it's incredibly simple, um, there's very little to it. So you put it on, so I can see what I'm doing, there she goes, clips on like that. Now here's a standard film, 10.8 film holder. This is an old cherry wooden one made by Graflex, but it's the same size as the Lisco, so it just fits. As, as I fit it in, the ground glass screen just slides out and, and lets it go in. The registration is pretty much exact with the glass in the film. Um, of course you take your dark slide out, and when you're finished you uh, just pull the, pull the film holder out again. Ready for the next one. It's one of those things where I literally looked at the Linhoff and thought, that's a really good idea, the way the actual ground glass screen pops out as you put the film holder in. And it just seems so convenient, whereas a lot of the old cameras, they rely on the actual um, the ground glass back flipping up and then coming up like that. And they're bloody horrible because, uh, I can't even do this one, but uh, they, they end up dangling around and getting broken. This one seems to be quite a, a practical way to actually to actually have, have a system very like the Linhoff with absolutely no technical um, complications at all. It's just simply some surgical rubber bands and some brass holders. And I've tried different tensions in the bands, but the very soft ones are the best. And they also hold the actual, the, the floating ground glass, you know, in a safe position so it's ready to pop back when you take the film holder out. Another reason I got quite enthusiastic about this was this wasn't really a 10.8 camera. It was a fraction smaller. So what I did was by packing it out slightly from where the original film holder was, it allowed me to get a full 10.8 image size because it packed it out and that allowed the image a little bit more room to actually expand up to the right size for 10.8, whereas before it would have been slightly choked off by the inner apertures in the camera. So, uh, taking, this, taking this a step further, I actually decided I'd sell them. And what I thought I'd do is, if people want a wooden back, that they can either screw onto the back of their camera simply with wood screws, or I can actually adapt them or well, they can e e even adapt them themselves with a little bit of a chisel or a router and make them fit the existing fittings on the camera. They can then convert their old whole plate Thornton pickards and you know and, and cameras like that down to a standard film or up to a standard film size that's useful. Also, 11, 14s you can make them smaller if you want to use 10.8. So it's not an expensive thing to build. I'll be selling them for 249 US dollars plus 45 dollars shipping worldwide. So if anybody's interested in um, upgrading their showpiece camera into a usable camera very cheaply, I can be uh, contacted through uh, Big Al's Cameras on Facebook, Big Al's Camera Shop, or Tui Tekka on eBay or Trade Me, Trade Me is a New Zealand auction site, or you can email me at southernphotos uh, at paradise.net.new zealand, southernphotos at paradise.net.new zealand. If you're at the, southern, if you're at the Big Al's Camera Shop, uh, Facebook page. Have a look at some of the other videos too of other things we've done with vintage cameras. So uh, I hope the gentleman really likes the back. It's been a lot of fun making it and uh, 
I'm busy converting a few of my own cameras the same way because it is actually a, a simple way to actually put, bring your camera back to life. Thank you very much.